Hey there, welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to everybody that's been following me. I really appreciate it. And today I'd like to bring to you my channeled message for this October full moon. And oh boy, it's going to be quite a week, I'm sure. And into November, this moon is going to really supercharge the energies. And as I was looking at the energy, I was looking at a bubble, like a beautiful iridescent bubble suspended in the in the air and trying to understand what this message was. And it was as if my guides were poking the bubble and completely inverting it. So looking at that energies and trying to interpret what that represents, looking at it deeper, I could see that, you know, our perception of how we see the world is going to be changing. And the way we see the world and how we're reflecting into the world, how do we feel on the inside? How is that creating our outside world? And how is that outside world affecting and influencing our inside world? So is it an innie or is it an outie? I mean, you're having an opportunity to reflect on maybe changes in beliefs or attitudes or perceptions and how that's been creating your world around you. And if you'd like to see things different, then you've got to make that shift. So we're being forced into making some of these shifts. And I see it sudden, I see radical shifts, surprising shifts that could be random and really simply out of the blue. But there's an iridescence that is is attractive and 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 seductive, I guess you could say, in the way that it shimmers. And so there is a lot of excitement associated with this energy in this bubble. So I don't want you to go into fear, but to think of possibilities and per perhaps the veil of how you've been limiting yourself and your ability to create in this world and in your experiences, how that's going to shift and how exciting that can be. You know, at the same time, I was also getting a picture of an, an, an image of a rose, and it was a very large rose. But what's interesting is all the petals of the rose were stretched away from the core of the rose, and they were like they were attached with a rubber band, and so stretched out. And so as I'm looking at these stretched out petals, I'm trying to interpret this. My, my guess is that, you know, we're being stretched in a lot of different directions. We're being tested and we're being distracted by the outside world and a lot of shenanigans and a lot of big changes and surprises all around us. So are those distractions supporting you? And, you know, I would venture to say probably not. All of us have to look for ourselves and see where are you being distracted in a way that takes you away from being able to focus on what you'd like to create in your life. And where are you happy and where are you not? And is the news completely discombobulating you? You know, um, or maybe you're not paying attention enough to your surroundings and what needs to shift on the outside. Now, in terms of that distraction, I feel that we are being challenged to look for truth and in perhaps our perception of truth is going to change. And so in looking at your truth, discerning for yourself truth from a lie, because we are being bombarded with a lot of lies, and let me call them non-truths. <laughs> yeah, um, don't even look for the media for any kind of truth, it seems. It, it, it's so watered down. So not to go down that path, but in relationships, in conversations, in the truth of who you are and your relationship with your friends, perhaps? Or are you in, in alignment and in truth with yourself and your values and morals? All of this is being brought up and, and giving to us on a silver platter to look at and forced at, perhaps, to take a real look at. And, you know, at the same time with all of this, there's so much help from the angels and our guides. And I, I, I look up at the night, clear, beautiful night sky, 
sky, seeing these stars in the sky and being reminded we are like diamonds in the sky and to shine bright like diamonds in the sky. In order to be able to shine brightly, we've got to let go of these old patterns and these resistance that we have to making these shifts and to creating and living the life that we truly want. So that's my hope for you is that you will embrace the tools that I teach or any other light workers offer you to to start clearing the dullness or the dormant energies that are keeping you stuck so that you can step out into this exciting time of of really shifting where you're going and and inspired to create more of what's been bubbling up within you and that wants to be delivered and 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 expressed in the world so I hope all of that makes sense to you as I'm downloading this information for you and that you can embrace that bright shiny star within yourself and uh, share it with the world. So many thanks for joining me here and I'll look forward to seeing you on my next video. Please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and share this like this. I'd love to hear your comments on what you're noticing with this October full moon. Rock and roll. <laughs> here we go.